Engage the trained observer. The trained observer uses verbal commands and a written checklist to confirm each step of donning PPE and can assist with ensuring and verifying the integrity of the ensemble. No exposed skin or hair should be visible at the conclusion of the donning process. Hydrate, remove personal clothing and items. Hydrate prior to donning PPE. Workers tend to get very warm in PPE and can dehydrate easily. Also use restroom if needed prior to donning PPE. Workers should remove anything that has the potential to poke a hole in or interrupt the integrity of the PPE including jewelry, pens, badges, belt, cell phone, any items in pockets, etc. Complete pre-suit monitoring doing baseline vital signs. Prior to donning PPE, it is important to screen overall health by assessing baseline vitals. This helps to ensure the readiness required for the rigor of working in PPE. Inspect PPE prior to donning. Inspect each item of personal protective equipment. Ensure nitrile butyl gloves do not have holes or tears. When inspecting the suit, examine all seam integrity. Don inner nitrile gloves. Inspect. It is sometimes helpful to choose a smaller actual size for the inner glove and a size up for the outer glove to ease donning and doffing of the outer pair of gloves. It is desirable to have a snug fit over the wrist and forearm to minimize the risk of exposure. Step into the suit without your shoes and pull up to the waist. Suits are available in sizes medium, large, extra large, 2XL, 3XL, and 4XL. Typically, it is best to choose a suit one size larger than is normally worn. It is better to wear a suit that is a little big rather than small, as a small suit makes movement and doffing difficult and increases the risk of breach of PPE and exposure. The suit needs to be large enough to allow the worker to bend over and squat and flex arms without stressing the seams. Don the tingly boots and fasten with the assistance of the trained observer. Assistance from the trained observer may be required. Boots should be put on while sitting down. Connect the voice amplifier to the gas mask. Check the seal. Don the Millennium gas mask and check the seal. The Millennium gas mask ranges in sizes small, medium, and large. The provider must have been fit tested for the mask. When inspecting, be sure there is a good seal. Masks should collapse when worker takes a deep breath and that the straps should be tightened in the sequence bottom, middle, top. Don the suit Zip down with the assistance of the trained observer and inspect. For the level two suit, place the arms into the sleeves and gloves. Next, the provider will need assistance in fitting the suit over the APR. Start by inserting the lower edge of the APR through the opening in the hood. The trained observer shall insert fingers to work the seal around the edge of the face piece of the APR. Once the suit is fitted over the face piece, the trained observer will zip the suit and connect the Velcro storm flap. It has been noted that fitting the suit and face piece may result in movement of the face piece. Therefore, the seal of the APR should be verified following donning. Put on the papper. Clip the belt from the power unit around the waist on the outside of the suit in the small of the back. The papper should be assembled and tested prior to use. Connect breathing tube to face piece and turn on papper. Verify proper donning by the trained observer. This is the final inspection before the worker enters the work area. An overall inspection must be performed to ensure that all PPE is donned appropriately.